Good day, my dear students. In our last class, we prepared a net profit of uh, Mr. Rafael from the data given to us. But in this case now, we are preparing the net profit starting with the SOA. Now, the question we are solving today is uh, in your textbook, that is uh, page 379, as written on the board here, to 380. A question two three point five. That's a Mr. John. In the question, we have to prepare the SOA, debtors control account, and CP and L and balance sheet. But we are starting from the SOA. Now going to uh, page three eighty. On top of it, there you see under it additional information. As you prepare SOA, you start with the T format. Now, on the, co on the left hand side, you can see your opening capital. This is derived. So let's now go to the right hand side, which is the asset side. In that question, Mr. Jones has no fixed asset at all. So you can see there are fixed assets nil. But mind you, all the information under 1494 must appear on the SOA. That's the first year. 1494. That's why I said SOA as at 1st April 1994. So, like I said earlier, Mr. John has no fees access. So, that's why see fees access dash. Now, under current assets, we have stock 550, debtors 1202, then rent. Okay, rent here is a prepaid. Mr. John has prepaid his rent for incoming year, so it's prepaid. Rent prepaid, that's 444, sorry, 44 Naira. Then, then we have also a cash in hand. The cash in hand there is derived from the, from the cash you given to us. That's the balance brought down from the opening year. That's the 2343. That's on page 379. You see the cash book of Mr. John. You see balance brought down. And that is the first entry. And you can see there. Cash in hand, 2343. Three. So you now add all these together. All the assets we have here. Had it been, we have, had it been uh, the man has the fees assets. It will be added. But because there is no asset for him, for and for fees assets, so we add this together, and we got uh, 4,149. Then, after adding this together, it gave us this. Now, on the left hand side, now, we now bring in all the liabilities for creditors, 980. Then, salaries owing, you can see it there, under 1494, is the accrued salary, 420. Add these two together, then subtract from the asset side. That will give you all the opening capital. Mind you, this is derived because not given to us. So we have derived it. That's by adding all the assets together, subtracting it from the current liabilities. We have we got two thousand seven forty nine. That's the opening capital of Mr. John. As at first Jan as at first April nineteen ninety four. So that is the first thing you must do under this topic. Then we now move to the debtors control account as required from the question. It says B says you are required to prepare debtors control account. Now this account is prepared as well as you derive sales. You want to get sales here. That's why the account is being derived, is being prepared. And then, how do you get this? You must prepare this account because in some questions, the examiner may not give you this, but how do you derive it? It's by preparing the debtor's control account. You start with the balance brother. Normally, you must have sold this to, uh, to some customers who are still owing him as at the first April of this year. So, how do you not get it? You now bring it there. Balance brought down 
must be debited. That is the amount owed to Mr. John. So, Alan's brother here yeah, is here in the question. That was 1202. Then the cash he got. Now, going back to page 379, you see there, cash from debtors. That is the cash Mr. John uh, got from his uh, debtors. So, it's on the credit side. Okay, mind you, the cash in the cash book is on debit side because it says debit all items received. But now, we are preparing debtors control account. So, the cash you got from debtors it will now be on the credit side, which is what we are seeing here. Then, how do you now get this? Then, mind you, this balance CD here is the amount still owed to Mr. John as at, as at, as at uh, uh, 31st, no, sorry, as at 31st March 1995. So, you can see there, balance CD, add these two together, that will give you. And 19,233. Then, how do you now derive a sales? You now subtract the balance brought down the previous one from this addition that will give us the sales derived. Then, how do you now get? So, this is how we got our sales. Mind you, you start on the debit side, the money earlier owed to Mr. John by the debtor. That's balance BD here. You can see there under 1494, 1202. Then, this cash now, you got it from the cash book on the debit side. Cash from debtors, 18,235. Then, this balance CD, you can see there under 31,395. That's the money still owed to Mr. John. So, and that is the balance sheet. Add this together, we got this. Then, so, practice from this earlier balance brought down here, that will give you the sales for Mr. John. Then, mind you, we have balance sheet here, which you must bring down here as a balance BD brought down. That is the amount, this is the amount still owed to Mr. John by his debtors. So, you can see there. Balance CD brought down here as a balance VD. Now, and to the other account required, it says account for creditors account. Creditors here, they are goods which a Mr. John has been supplied by a supplier. He has bought goods from his supplier. Then, I do not get purchases. Here also, we are deriving purchases derived. Because you will not be given in the question. Then, how do you now derive it? You start with the account again. On the, on the current side, any money still owed by, by the firm must be on the credit side. You can see there, a balance brought down. Okay, going to your question again, you see there, under on 1494, you see there, a creditors. 980. Then, cash paid by Mr. John. Okay, that can be seen again in the cash book. Cash paid by 11,056. Then, here again, as at the end of that year, Mr. John okay, was still owing uh, the suppliers. That is uh, under uh, 31,395, was still owing. And 1,051. So add this together. Okay. You got uh, Now you can see here. From here now, this and this. Again, it was 12,107. So plus it from 980. That will give us the purchases derived. So this is the purchases that we take to the trading account. This is the sales to the trading account. So you can see how we got the sales. Here yeah, and the purchases. And mind you, okay, we have here balance CD, which you must bring down here as a balance BD finally. Now, this we got here shows that uh, Mr. John was still owing his suppliers. 
1,061 Naira. So, so you can see a question on this topic, you must prepare the SOA to get the opening capital. Then from there again, you must prepare the debtors account to get sales. Then also, finally, you must prepare the account for creditors from where you get your purchases. These three figures will be derived, open capital derived, sales derived, and the project also derived. So please, in our next class, by God's grace, we prepare the trading account, p and and balance sheet. But please, take note of the question very well, because the, this topic is very essential, as I said. So please, be ready. Okay, be ready to continue with me in our next class, by God's grace. Okay, thank you, and God bless you.